is the wood stock. Mate, I'm trying to have a conversation here. Can you oh. turn that off? Hold on. Thank you. Um, so we're going to the wood stock cam. What's happening up there, bro? Uh, we're going to go do a little bit of maintenance on the wood stock camera. Press some buttons. Get the, make sure it's all running good and then we'll um, be on our way to require. That's going to be a good day. 21 degrees already. So it's going to be shorts on the boat, I think. Sun's out, gun's out. See you at Woodstock. All right, just here at Woodstock. Just gave the uh, camera a bit of a reset before we head to Rakaia. Um, there's not as much light just coming into winter, so we also adjusted the timers uh, just to help with that. So we've got plenty of um, power from our solar panel. And uh, yeah, she's good to go. And the river's looking awesome. Already some boats out. And uh, just been talking to Paul from um, Alpine Jet Thrills, they've got some cool stuff going on up here and we do a lot of work with them so awesome company and um, but more importantly we're off to Rakai now, we're going to do some boating. What do you reckon, a bit of thrust there? Another um, pretty cool thing up here at Alpine Jet is um, Jet Boat World, they've um, made a Bit of a museum here they've got some really cool boats in here and it's actually their headquarters um, when you come up here and do a tour so it's real cool some awesome boats here some real old stuff and uh, this is something pretty cool gale banks twin turbo this is what they used to run back in the day you actually got um the carburetor system set up i'm pretty sure so that the fuel ran through the turbocharger Turquoise blue, how about you? Yeah, it is looking quite good, isn't it? It's looking like good flow, it's going to be good for boating. We'll ask Brett if it's good for fishing because I've got no idea. <laughs> That's water, mate. That's all you need for fish fishing. Need water. It? Fish need water, water need fish. We've got a river full of water flowing too. Looks like no wind as well, actually, or a lack thereof. Which will, uh, Five bucks says Brett is late. Well, we're late, and he'll be late later than us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but five bucks he says he's like double late. Double late. Yeah. Right. Take the bet. Sweet. Wait, how good was that caravan though? Um, you know, the one oh, that was drowning in the. The old mate wanted a waterfront view. A few weeks ago, someone in the truck like towed their caravan down onto the river and then the river came up overnight and there was caravan underwater and shit we got it on the camera um have a look at this i'll put it there there it is uh, <laughs> and yeah it was it was quite it got a lot of people talking about what sort of idiot are you <laughs> so if anyone actually if anyone knows who that person was like, can you get in touch? I want to talk to the guy and like find out what the story is. Or the girl, it might be a girl, I don't know. Looking dangerous, managing director's just arrived, Brett. Which means we can get on the river. He's got some pretty serious gear. Oh, he's promising a 20 pound salmon. <laughs> so, I'll take him to the right spot and he's got to do the rest really, so we'll see what happens, but river's in good nick. A couple other people out on the river, we'll stay away. But um, let's see what we get done.
Run us through a bit of your technique here, boss. Yeah, it's what we're doing. I mean, the river's a bit lower. I sort of fished this hole quite a bit, and you know, generally when you find a good salmon hole and you're seeing salmon in it, you best to keep coming back. Um, you know, of course, the, you can lose a bit of water pretty quickly from every time the river floods, but this one here seems to be holding, which is good. But, um, yeah, so at the moment there's probably less water coming in, sort of, so not not really pushing the fish as high up as what I've been fishing. I'm sort of fishing more towards the end at the moment. Um, yeah, just quite a sort of slack hole. So. Some big rocks in here and it's easy to lose a bit of gear. So. Just got to keep going through it and pick one up. So, I'm using a... Um, Eight foot six salmon rod. Um, so you just got the, the overhang. Oh, sort of ambassador type reel. Um, pretty typical sort of salmon setup. And uh, still using like a mono line. I mean, a lot of guys are using braid nowadays and sort of using less um, lighter gear. Um, with the with a mono line, you're still going to use your typical sort of heavy hooks to get down the current. Whereas, you know, the guys using braid, they'll use smaller gear, which is probably suited for you know, clearer, lower um, flows like this. But, and then, um, yeah, just using a amazing baits Z spinner today, using a green and white. Sort of done me pretty lucky so far, so I'll keep using it. And so yeah, what we're doing with salmon fishing is you're, you're basically fishing blind, like, I mean with trout, you're sort of walking up the river trying to target a trout by seeing them, whereas salmon are sort of um, migrating fish, they'll come into this hole for a bit of a rest after swimming up some hard water, um, then they'll just move on, you know, once they've had a bit of a rest to head upstream again. Salmon don't um, feed in fresh water. And, Compared to trout, which they'll actually sort of chase after your hooks. Um, so you're trying to get on the bottom where the salmon are sitting and just get this hook sort of flashing in front of them. Basically just trying to get them to bite it out of anger, um, just by seeing the, seeing the gear. And yeah, when they enter fresh water, they're pretty much their throats close up, they stop eating. And generally by the time they get up to the spawning waters, they've lost quite a bit of condition. They're like a darker colour. So yeah, you know, with salmon fishing you could fish a beautiful bit of water, um, just keep casting and hoping you know, there might not be any fish in there, you just don't know. And if you've got a nice pool where you're seeing fish porpoise, that's a good sign. You're into a uh, good snag. What have you caught yourself mate? Oh I think it's a coarse bush. So we're going to head to another fishing hole and try that one out. Apparently this one ain't them breaks. Alright, right. just mount time, you're coming along for a ride with Nigel.